Many of the programmable blockchains we have today were designed with smart contract programming languages that power the very functionality of each chain and offer diverse features that make each of them unique. These programming languages also serve as the foundation on which applications can be built on each of these chains. Amongst the variety of languages available, there are two that stand out prominently as highly versatile with tons of potential use cases, Move and Sui and Solidity. These two programming languages offer robust tools and features that beg the question, which is better, Move or Solidity? In this video, we will offer a comprehensive comparison highlighting the pros and cons of each language revealing their strengths and shortcomings, and finally draw a realistic conclusion at the end. Let's begin with a brief introduction to these programming languages, starting with Solidity. Solidity is currently the most widely used smart contract programming language, offering a lot of flexibility and has birthed several blockchains like Tron, EOS, Binance Smart Chain, and many more. Its popularity stems from its success with the pioneer smart contract chain Ethereum in 2014, and ever since, the language has amassed a massive community of developers and gained a robust ecosystem of tools and frameworks, and has fostered the development of many EVM decentralized applications and layer 2 chains. Move on SUI, on the other hand, is a much newer language. Move was introduced in 2019 and was primarily designed for Facebook's DM blockchain. It was designed from the ground up with a focus on safety and verifiability in smart contracts development. Today, Move is now being used by SUI and even Aptos as their core programming language. To compare these two programming languages, we will weigh them against a set of parameters that are important to developers when choosing a smart contract language. We will use security, performance and scalability, and finally, the learning curve. Let's start with security. Although Solidity is so widely used, it is also notorious for having experienced several exploits that have caused a lot of financial harm to users of Solidity-based smart contract decentralized applications. A few exploits on Solidity-based contracts include the $325 million wormhole exploit and the $600 million Ronin bridge hack. These exploits could be as a result of several reasons like re-entrancy attacks or hidden bugs due to the compiled nature of the Solidity language. Move on SUI, on the other hand, is well known for its focus on security. Being initially designed to create a stable and secure global payment system, the MOVE language was designed with some core features that enhance its security, such as using resource types for asset management, strict typing and access controls, formal verification, modular design, and is also due to the lessons learned from the several exploits that have occurred on Solidity. Overall, while Solidity is still very popular for creating smart contracts, it is also a lot more prone to hidden bugs and potentially dangerous exploits, even though better coding practices are being encouraged over time. However, Move on SUI is very focused on remaining as secure as possible to keep applications as safe as possible. Next is performance and scalability. Solidity inherits a number of constraints from the Ethereum blockchain, which limits its scalability and performance. Due to the proof-of-work nature of the Ethereum chain, smart contracts running on it inherits the limitations of the consensus model, leading to slower transaction times and higher fees. Move on SUI, however, is built different. It is built with scalability in mind, using the unique consensus model of the DM chain, Byzantine fault tolerance, and a number of other features. Move offers better performance, making it a viable option for developers to create scalable applications on it. 
Last but not the least is the learning curve. Solidity has been around for a long time and has gained comprehensive documentation and a massive community of developers over time that support it. This greatly reduces the learning curve for creating with Solidity because of the abundance of resources available to make the journey easier. However, Move on Sui, which is still relatively young, is limited in this field. Its syntax is lesser known, with limited developer resources to help onboard new developers. Its community is relatively small but has also been gaining traction over the years. But at this time, there is still limited resources making its learning curve steep. Overall, by comparing these two smart contract languages, it is evident that Solidity offers a more mature ecosystem with tons of resources and support materials making it easier to get into, while Move on Sui focuses on security and scalability. We can then conclude that choosing between the two will greatly depend on the specific requirements of the project and its overall goals. However, with Move on Sui gaining more traction and popularity, it can be expected to see significant improvement to the language as it becomes mainstream overall. If you'd like to get started with the SUI ecosystem, head over to sui.io today to get started.